Ali Daily News, September 8, 2022. UN overlapping crises have set human development back five years. A new UN report said the global human development index value has declined two times in a row, a first since the indicator was created in 1990. The indicator measures life contemplations, education situations, and norms of living. 90% of the 191 countries studied saw their scores decline in 2020 or 2021. After the 2008 fiscal extremity, scores fell in only 10% of countries studied, UN Development Program Principal Akim Steiner said. The report attributes the declines to the COVID-19 epidemic, climate change, and profitable query, among other factors. The report has yet to consider the war in Ukraine. Steiner called for increased development backing to poor countries and stronger programs concentrated on fighting climate change. Australia passes first climate law in 10 years. The law includes targets for Australia to cut hothouse gas emigrations by at least 43%, compared to 2005 situations, by 2030 and reach net zero emigrations by 2050. China China's exports to the United States fell for the first time in two times in August, while its exports to Russia surged by further than 26% compared to last time. India, Japan to hold first joint fighter jet drills the country's foreign and defense ministers bandied the plan during their alternate 2 plus 2 addresses since 2019. India opposition leader Rahul Gandhi started walking across the country, a trip of over 3,500 kilometers, 2,175 miles, to rally support for his Indian National Congress party. U.S.-backed Syrian forces apprehend terrorism suspects the Syrian Defense Forces detained dozens of people over the last two weeks for their suspected involvement with the tone-placarded Islamic State at Syria's Al-Hol exile camp, U.S. Central Command said. Iraq, the country's top court blocked a request by influential Shiite clergy person Muqtada al-Sadr to dissolve the council. Sadr's sympathizers led deadly demurrers in Baghdad last month. CFR's Max Boot discusses how inter-Shia strife is hanging Iraqi security. Burkina Faso study shows new malaria booster is highly effective. The vaccine, developed at the University of Oxford, was set up to be as important as 80% effective at precluding clinical signs of malaria in children, scientists said. Mozambique, the European Union said it'll give $15 million to the indigenous charge fighting mutineers in Mozambique. U.S. pledges military support for Ukraine, European countries in Kyiv, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said the United States will supply $2 billion in long-term aid to Ukraine and 18 other countries that are at threat of a Russian eruption. Independently, the Department of Defense blazoned $675 million in aid for Ukraine. In Foreign Affairs, Timothy Snyder discusses the war between republic and nihilism in Ukraine. United Kingdom Prime Minister Liz Truss will lay out plans to limit energy prices for homes moment. Her government is anticipated to adopt some $115 billion to fund the plan. This in detail looks at how the war in Ukraine has brought Europe's reliance on Russian energy into sharp relief. One person killed in Haiti's anti-government protests demonstrators in several metropolises raised their opposition to interim Prime Minister Ariel Henry, high prices, and gang violence. At least one person failed during demurrers in the capital, Port-au-Prince. Ecuador the country's mining minister said the government and indigenous groups reached a deal to halt disquisition on 16 oil painting blocks as part of a dialogue that began after demurrers before this time. Report, Top Secret Documents on Nuclear Security Found at Mar-a-Lago The FBI set up documents detailing another country's nuclear readiness when they searched former President Donald Trump's Hearthstone in Florida, The Washington Post reported. Please subscribe if you like our daily news. Thank you.